Hi guys, today we are going to see some uh, John Teller distortion problems. In the earlier video, I said what is John Teller and the related uh, tricks, everything I informed. What is that? That is D1, D2, D4, D7, and D9. Other than that, sorry, D9 and D5 of low spin and D6 uh, of high spin is having a John Teller distortion. This is the tips I have given in the last video. Uh, if you have any doubts, you just go through that video. And now we are going to solve some of the problems related to that. The water exchange rates for the complex follows the order. Vanadium, cobalt, chromium, water complexes is there. So everything is 6 6 6 octahedral complexes. And what and all is there is just, just we will take with oxidation state and whether it whether the general distortion is there or not, we will check. Okay. Vanadium 2 plus and mm, cobalt 2 plus. Cobalt 2 plus is also there. Cobalt 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. There is no 3 plus. Okay. And mm, cobalt chromium. Chromium 2 plus and chromium 3 plus. Okay. Chromium 3 plus. These are all the cases is available here. We will check what is the d orbital for this. This is vanadium 2 plus. We know that is the d3 orbital is completely filled. There is no John Teller distortion. And cobalt 2 plus. Cobalt 2 plus is d6. 7 okay d7 orbital so the john teller distortion is there and d chromium 2 plus is d4 okay d4 this is also john teller distortion is there and chromium 4 means it leads to 3 okay one more electron is removed so 3 so there is no john teller distortion in these cases so if john teller distortion is there what is the benefit in this case compared to this case if distortion is there you just check it whether it is a chromium or it is a cobalt these two cases if distortion is there these two the elongation will take place in the z axis so these two ligands will easily exchange with other ligands okay, h2o is there okay this is easily exchanged with other ligands so this is this will go faster the reaction will go faster so this will come as a first one so whether the zero two plus and the cr two plus is there in the first first we will check cr three plus is there but it's not two plus so co two plus is there so we will omit these two options okay we will move to this option sir. and next thing chromium three plus and vanadium two plus chromium three plus and vanadium three two plus we need to compare these two here also chromium two plus and chromium so we need to compare these two we need to compare which is will comes to the next stage next one we know that uh, cobalt 3 plus sorry 2 plus which is having a first place and uh, these two only we need to compare if uh, see in these two these two are d3 d3 there is no change 2 plus and 3 plus so oxidation state we need to check if the oxidation state increases what will happen in the metal ion the, the ligand will be very, very close to that metal ion so the what will happen if it is very close to the metal ion the force of attraction is more so it takes very uh, difficult to for the exchange okay so what will happen so uh, 2 plus the lesser oxidation state it will be compared to this this will be more stable more uh, easy to exchange the uh, ligands and then chromium 3 plus so this is the order so first one or oh, this last one is the correct option last one is the correct option okay and move to the next question consider the following reactions m e n uh, ethylene diamond twice 2 plus with uh, the plus react with another ethylene diamond it react, uh, leads to uh, 3 ethylene diamond there is also octahedral complexes this complex it looks to be like this c m n Mm. Sorry, this is the metal. The metal which is nickel, copper, zinc arranged as increasing order of the rate of the reaction. Whether which metal is leads to be bigger, mm, greater, and uh, which metal is going the rate of the reaction high. Okay, that we need to find out. Um, how it will be looks to be is this is looks to be like this. This is bidentate ligand. You know, E N is a bidentate ligand. It looks to be like this. Okay. And what we need to know, nickel, nickel, uh, copper and zinc. What is that? Uh, nickel is, this is uh, D9, D10. Okay, this is D9. This is a D10. The nickel is, what is that? I'll write down scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, manganese, mm, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc. Okay, this is D8. I'm just confirming whether it is D8 or not. Okay, a D8. Hmm? In the way the distortion is there, D9. Also, this is having a distortion. So, if distortion is there, in this case, arrange the rate of the reaction. The rate of the reaction is copper. Copper is having a 
distortion okay you are you are very clear that copper is having a distortion and other uh, two which is not having a distortion so this is also we need to arrange in the proper way how to arrange the rate of the reaction we need to arrange how it will go the biden date like on okay if distortion is there that is the least uh, order in the rate of the reaction the rate of the reaction which is in the uh, least order so copper will be at the last and next one is next one is rate of the reaction will be um, how the how we have to write the rate of the reaction will be increasing order okay rate of the reaction is increasing order the rate of the reaction is less favored for the john teller destruction this is less favorable because of john teller destruction distortion john teller distortion this is less favor but compared these two this is more favored is completely filled you know it's a more favored and then this so which one is which comes a uh, next one a uh, zinc and it is sorry zinc is more nickel and then it comes to zinc okay this is a d10 orbital first one is having a this option and which one of the following complexes is having a d4h point group d4h point group the first one nickel mm, nickel nickel cyanide the tetra this is also 4 2 minus the square planar complexes and this is square planar complex the nickel and this is a square planar complex okay the square planar complex Mm. and the copper h2o6 2 minus if whenever wherever if you if you see the copper you know copper uh, 2 plus you can easily say this is a d9 the john teller distortion is there distortion is there so whenever the john teller distortion is there what will happen this elongation will takes place in the z axis so elongation will takes place and so the john teller distortion is so here the elongation takes place so the d4h what is that sigma h plane will also be there here this d4h all the bonds are not equal like octahedral this is will not comes under octahedral because of the elongation john teller distortion it will leads to as john teller uh, d4h point group even though this is also uh, d4h compared to these two this will be shows more d4h symmetry d4h point group symmetry okay and uh, crh2o6 3 plus this is a octahedral complex okay and the last uh, fourth one the ion which is expected to have a john teller distortion in an octahedral field which ion is having a john teller distortion vanadium 2 plus strong field cobalt 2 plus nickel 2 plus manganese 2 plus as, as as we said as we saw earlier vanadium 2 plus is a d3 and cobalt 2 plus nickel 2 plus and manganese 2 plus what about that if this is d3 and strong field if a d3 whether it's a strong field or normal there is no distortion no need to worry we worry about that and cobalt 2 plus it's a d7 the distortion is there and it's a high spin whether it's a high spin or low spin distortion is there whether it's a one and d8 there is no distortion and manganese 2 plus a weak field see here d8 there is no distortion and manganese uh, 2 plus manganese 2 plus is d5 okay d5 there is no distortion and that too a weak field they can weak field leads to weak field leads to high spin complex weak field leads to high spin complex the distortion is there in the low spin not high spin so this is also not there so which is the answer this is the answer answer number b and next question john teller distortion is not observed in high spin complexes of high spin complexes of in which it is not observed d4 it is observed john teller distortion is there in d4 d4 system john teller distortion is there and d7 also john teller distortion is there d9 also john teller distortion and where it is not there d8 it is not there john teller distortion occurs whenever which of the following orbitals are unequally occupied where it's unequally occupied and it shows john teller distortion c these is this is the t2g and eg orbitals okay this is t2g and eg orbital the eg orbital is a d is at square and d is at square dx square minus y square here dx is at dy is at and dxy okay if you see the filling of electrons um and uh, dxy and 
x y and y z. The, if the filling of electrons like this, unequal filling, is it possible to uh, show the distortion? No. And x y, x z, x y and x z. There is x z, x z and x y. If filling is like this, this is also possible? No. And the next case, the z coin. If the filling is unequal, one is there, one is not there. Otherwise, if one is there, two is there, and one is there. So these cases, the John Teller distortion is there. Okay, John Teller distortion is there. So what is the option? This one shows John Teller distortion. The John Teller effect is in the field of which field we can see the John Teller distortion. Nuclear physics? No. Thermodynamics? No.